Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing an episode of Twitter Outrage, episode number two. As we all know at this point, nothing of good can happen without someone coming to ruin it. What was the saying? No good deed goes unpunished? Something like that? Well, here we have another prime example of why we should cancel the internet. So this young woman tweeted, Pulled up to my driveway to find a little girl crying. She didn't have money for the ice cream then like her friends did, so I gave her enough money to get herself a nice big ice cream with sauce, sprinkles, and a flake. She was so happy and soon had ice cream around her mouth. Usually you'd think that nobody could really find a problem with that, well, think again. Along comes Anthony and he says, I usually do not do this, but I feel like this is appropriate to post since this person is claiming to be a vegan, even though she admitted to buying non-vegan ice cream for someone else. Defended what she did when I spoke with her privately, hoping that would make her less likely to be defensive, though I should not have to worry about that, about it, even though I was respectful and blocked me rather than admitting I was right and that she should have not bought the non-vegan ice cream for that child. To my vegan followers, I know at least those of you who she is following should be able to send her a private message here. Just in case that is not possible, one of my screenshots shows her Instagram account. I do not want her to be attacked. I just want her to see she was wrong, which I hope enough vegans talking to her will accomplish. Please let me know if that happens. So as if that weren't obnoxious and stupid enough, let's just look at what exactly he DM'd her. He DMs her saying, Hi, I'm just sending this to ask if the ice cream van was selling vegan ice cream, which would be surprising. Wanting to help others is of course great, but we should of course be helping them without basically harming and killing non-human babies, which buying non-vegan ice cream basically does. That means that if the ice cream was the typical kind, which I generally assume is the case, it definitely would have been best to help the girl in some other way. I'm really hoping it was an unexpected case of the ice cream being vegan, in which case that is awesome. To which the woman in question answers, I bought a kid ice cream, it isn't that deep fam which I generally agree with. He goes on to say, it is that deep. If the ice cream was non-vegan, which is obviously is quite deep to any actual vegan and a severe mistake. And then the woman responded, mate, I'm vegan. My mom's vegan and my boyfriend is vegan. I'm not about to push the message onto a crying child. Lighten the fuck up. So as you can understand, Anthony's probably so much fun at parties, isn't he? Whether or not you're vegan, I think this starts an interesting conversation because I think that we're all aware of the negative vegan stereotype that is out there about the screaming vegan who is just shouting at everyone who's not vegan and trying to convince people to be vegan. Of course, that's just a stereotype, and I don't think the majority of vegans are like that. The problem is that the vegans who are like that are very loud, like this Anthony who feels like he should be allowed to police somebody else's I don't know, gift to someone or gesture of kindness. I don't even know in what world Anthony would feel like he has a say to be like, hey, if it was vegan, good job. If it wasn't vegan, fuck off. Like, I, I don't understand in what kind of mental state you can be to think you have that much agency over somebody else's life. So then I started looking at the responses of Anthony's tweet. The first one says, full offense, you're an embarrassment to veganism and we have reduced you to plant-based. Anthony responds, no, all of you have been reduced to plant-based and you are all an embarrassment to veganism. To which someone answers, shut up, ugly ass nerd. The V in your profile stands for virgin now. And we can just move on because that goes into insults. Somebody else says, I don't think exposing people is the best thing to do, but I'm truly disappointed that It's All Zara paid for dairy ice cream. I admired her for her activism and positivity, but her actions in private show a different side of her. Knowingly contributing to the dairy industry is that deep. Anthony answers, I understand, but I really did not like her defending what she did and blocking me as a supposed vegan. And I do only want other vegans to respectfully speak with her about it rather than attack her for it. Matthew then says, what's to speak about though? I'm not going to give money to a homeless person with a stipulation they only buy vegan food. That's the spiteful meme most are trying to fight against. You win more hearts with compassion and kindness than you do with ruthless fanaticism. Anthony answers, are you serious? You're not an actual vegan if you cannot see what there is to speak about. And she knew full well the little girl was going to buy non-vegan ice cream before giving the little girl money. That is different from generally giving money to a homeless person. And Matthew answers, it's really not. You're putting a restriction on compassionate action that nullifies the act totally. So this whole conversation goes on and on. And I felt like most of the replies I saw were pretty down to earth. However, it really opens up a discussion here. So whether we're vegan or not, I think that we can all agree that 
what It's All Zara did was a kind gesture, and I don't really think that it should be complicated to the point of was the ice cream vegan or not. If we do want to go down that route, if we do want to be the kind of nitpicky person, then let me say this. What if that child was allergic to nuts or soy or almonds or whatever kind of substitute of dairy that was going to be put in vegan ice cream? What about that? Did you consider that, Anthony? Probably not. So even if she isn't allergic to any of that, it's not really fair for a person who is not her mother or father to come in and be like, hey, I'm going to give you money for an ice cream, but only if it's vegan. Otherwise, just keep on crying and I'm going to go home. Does that seem normal to you? I don't understand why there is such an uproar over something that is genuinely, genuinely just a nice gesture. This brings me to a point that I think I'm going to have to reiterate to this entire Twitter series, but... This form of outrage as a way to virtue signal and gatekeep as if you are the authority of some type of group is not only ridiculous and embarrassing, but it's unproductive and is just perpetuating the stereotype that most vegans are fighting against. So thank you, Anthony, for doing that. I'm sure all vegans are so thankful that you came out and showed such genuine positivity after seeing such an act of kindness. Really, congratulations. Good for you. Anyways, guys, I'm really curious to know what your stance is on this. Let me know um, what you think, especially if you're vegan, and what you think the vegan community is like, whether you stand behind this or not. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always. Let's get right into the fan art.